I saw the trailer for Hotel Artemis and I thought, no, it just it just looks wrong. It doesn't look as kinetic as it wants to be. It doesn't look as cool as it's trying to be. It looks gobbledygook all over the place. Nothing really cohesive there within the trailer. But there was nothing else on. I had to go and see this movie that didn't excite me and almost made me just you know, stay at home that night rather than going out. But I forced myself to the cinema to see Hotel Artemis and I was surprised by the movie that I actually did see. This is about a hotel hospital for criminals. They pay a fee and they become a member and if they need medical attention, short notice, they phone up this place, they go there, they get their treatment and they're back on the street to do their nefarious dealings again. It's fun, it's energetic, and it's got some great actors in it as well. The nurse, played by Jodie Foster, is the main character. She's the kind of glue of this hotel hospital. She is the one that is facilitating everybody's illnesses, taking care of them, doing the procedures, and she seems to be the only medically trained representative there. She does have a nurse in the form of Dave Bastista, who is more there as muscle uh, and almost a dog's body to get things for her. But there is a history that comes out as to why he's there. We have um, two already uh, people in the hospital and then we have a criminal at the start who we see robbing a bank and his brother gets shot and he has to take him there to get treatment. But as it turns out, the person that they just robbed from has also been injured and he is heading to that building too. So they're on a time scale to try and get the brother fixed and out before this big mobster turns up and things could get rather dirty. Sophia Batella is in this movie as well, is one of the guests who is here and she is one of my favourite actresses working today in these action movies because she's equal parts, super sexy and extremely dangerous. You have no doubt about it, she looks as if she can handle herself and she does in a couple of fantastic sequences throughout the movie. One particularly where she draws a line in the dirt and she just tells everybody, these slew of people that are coming at her, that nobody will cross that line. It's a fantastic action set piece and I could really feel weight behind it. She got hurt, she was injured, she was out of breath, but she still kicked ass. And I like it when they take in the fact that people are exhausted, injured, they're not superhuman creatures. And I thought that was one of the, the good aspects about it. I thought Hotel Artemis was going to be one thing, a bland, uninteresting, trying to copy its style from the old Tarantino movies that came out in the late 90s but it doesn't, it stamps its own ground and it fits in with movies like John Wick. It is not as good action wise as those movies and it doesn't try to be. It does have kinetic and exciting action sequences when required it but it tries to layer in lots of bit of story as well to build up the characters to give them reasons as to what they are doing and why they are doing that and that's always the best thing about these movies to have the good action but to have it resonate with characters that you're genuinely interested in or you at least like or you think are cool and want to see more of them or in some cases just people that you want to see being hurt as there are a couple in this movie. Hotel Artemis is a great fun time at the cinema. It's a popcorn movie. It's quick, it's under 90 minutes and it just zips by giving you some high entertainment, some good genre action movie stuff on the big screen. I thought it was a lot of fun and I was and I would give this movie three out of five. It doesn't set the heather alight, but it's not a bad movie either. It's one that I can recommend and I'd love to know your opinion of the movie if you were one of the few people lucky enough to see it on the big screen. Let me know in the comment box below and I will see you next time on Man Versus Film.